Man, feels like we've been up here for like 15 hours. Hope everyone's still with us. But uh, I think that pretty much sums everything up, right? Yeah, I think we covered it all. And there's only one thing left to do. List, please. <laughs> it's time to cross off one final list item together. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Shoot, I think I forgot a pen. Seriously? I've got one you can use. I I'm sure someone else in this arena has a spare pen, so you can go sit down. Take it easy. I just wanted to come up here in front of the world to say congratulations and finally put our differences behind us. I would never do anything to take away from your special night that you so rightfully deserve. Trey, even your birth parents are here, which is amazing. Stand up, please. But before you finish up, there's just one thing I want to mention that you left out of your speech. You see, Red wasn't 100% honest about what led to her retirement and later her best friends. In fact, it turns out she has a little secret, which is the real reason she walked away from WWE. You have to do something. She's going to ruin everything. I'm sorry, but I'm done hiding this for us. It's over. What really happened was I found out the truth behind this secret, and she didn't want me to tell anyone. So she chose to retire instead. But I couldn't sit back and let her get away without everyone knowing the real Red. So let's start with this. That lovely older couple in the audience, they're not Trey's parents. I know, because they're fakes I hired to be here. That letter you got that said they were coming tonight, also a fake. But if you want to see your real parents, I can make that happen. Here they are. Yeah, that pretty much says it all. And look at the date there. They were already long gone by the time we were in high school. Which makes you wonder, Trey. How could they have written you a letter? Maybe someone else wrote it to try to manipulate you into doing whatever they wanted. And maybe that person was so miserable and lonely, they had to resort to something morbid like that to ensure they always had a friend at their side. But who would do such a terrible thing? Certainly not your so-called best friend, right? Is this true? We're not finished here. If you come any closer, I will crush his neck. And the same goes for anyone else. If you try to stop us, I will end him. <laughs> 